the Nude Food Cooking Show. Pure food made real good. Yay! What are we doing today? I'm <laughs> making pudding. <laughs> That's my favourite. It's not pudding, really. It is pudding. Well, you can have this one for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I like pudding for breakfast. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so it's really, really easy. What we're going to do is we're going to pop in. What are we making first? Oh, <laughs> we're making, what are we making? A cinnamon chia trifle. A trifle? Yes. Is it going to have a small amount? With like blueberries and coconut Ooh. on top. I'd rather have like a uh, cinnamon chia lots of rather than a trifle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, carry on. So, one cup of water goes into the spiffy blender. Then some medjool dates. Medjool dates are a little bit more juicy than normal dates. So we pop those in. There's about, how many did you put in? Seven. Uh, yep, sure. <laughs> Seven of those. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Oh, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Love cinnamon. Really good for stimulating progesterone in the body. Oh, great. <laughs> and a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Yep. And I've got almond butter. Yum. So I am putting in a tablespoon. But you've given me a teaspoon. So. <laughs> oh, see? No, that's okay. I can work it out. I'll just kind of guess. You yeah, I'll just kind of guess. Well, I'm going to work on that. It's probably about two of those. Two of those. Yeah, well, that one didn't come off very well. <laughs> it's messy stuff. It is, but I use my finger. So. But it's yummy. Mmm, yummy. I don't mind using my fingers. Okay, and what else oh. are we going in there? Some sea salt. Mm. A little bit of salt. Everything tastes better with salt. <laughs> yes. And vanilla. And a tea, half a teaspoon, or is it a teaspoon? I think it's a teaspoon. I think it's half a teaspoon. <laughs> half, a tea, half a teaspoon of vanilla. Yeah, I put a bit more in. I like that stuff, it's yummy. It's yummy. I'm amazing you measured it, I just kind of go. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, <laughs> we don't all have 20 years experience. Just kind of guesstimate stuff. Yes. Anyway, so we're going to pop So we're going to pop that one on. And you're going to pop and it in, in your the blender. Meantime, that's going to kick around a bit because it's, those dates are quite firm. Okay, here we go. All done. Right. Okay, so now what you do is you pop your fabulous mixture into a bowl. Mm. And then you put... A quarter of a cup of chia seeds. And then you mix. Now it's really important to make sure that you actually mix these guys in so they're not just floating on the top. And what's going to happen is these cool little chia dudes, they're going to basically expand. and then soak up all the liquid. Soak it all up. And turn it into glue. And turn it into goo. <laughs> or glue. Glue? Goo. 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 They're going to set. I prefer is the correct. Term. They're going to set. So you need to let them sit for about 20 minutes. Now, chia seeds are fabulous for what? Everything. <laughs> everything, no. Not everything. But chia seeds have a very high amount of omega-3, which is very good as an anti-inflammatory for the body. So it reduces all that inflammation that's going on. And they have very high in protein. In the meantime, we're going to make a base because we want to make a trifle. Now, I don't know about you, but I actually don't like gooey things. So I like to have some crunchy things whenever I have chia. So... We're going to make a base. We're going to make a base. Very simple base. It's only got two ingredients. <laughs> Pecans and raisins. Pecans and raisins. And we're going to use our spiffy little ninja. Our little friend. If you didn't meet ninja last week, this is ninja. He's still working, just. Just. I've tried to kill ninja by making fuzz balls. Yes. Fuzz balls. Slightly dry mixed fuzz balls. Yeah, you've got to actually measure those ones, I think. It did smell a bit funny after that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the ninja, not the fuzz balls. <laughs> so anyway, what have you got? You've got three quarters of a cup of pecans. pecans. So we're gonna pop those in there. Yep. So a ninja is great, but you can use a food processor, which we'll do 
the same jobby. And we're gonna pop that on somehow there. Blitz those up. And that'll do. That'll do. That's pretty quick, isn't it? And then we're gonna pop in three quarters of a cup of raisins. Yummy. Let's see, people know I lost there's another one there. There we go. Raisins are in. And it's gonna take a little bit longer this time. Same thing. More. Oh, be nice to ninja, don't you? <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. How's our little ninja? Does it feel like a kind of a sticky mix? Yep. It does. Feels yeah. pretty good. Hey, that's too easy. That was easy. So now we do. So we have two little. What do you call these? Tart. High tart things. Tart yeah. with, the, uh, with the loose base. But you could use an ice glass. Yes. We didn't have one. So I was supposed to bring one home, but um, I didn't. <laughs> so you use what you've got. You use what you've got. And all you do now is you I grab some of this. <laughs> it's much more fun with your, your fingers. fingers. Yeah. Well, and then you make a very... Well, not too thin, I don't think. What do you think? Well, I think it wants to be reasonably thin. I think we want to use up all the mix, though, because otherwise, what are we going to do, do with it? What are we going to do with it? Yes, fair enough. Okay. How's yours looking? Yeah, mine's almost there. Oh, yours looks so smart. Look at mine. It needs to be reasonably even, because I've got a little hole there, but if what happened when you try and... Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how rude! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, but when you put your pudding in, you're gonna get a big, thick base. Look at how different they look. Uh oh. <laughs> look at that. Do you want, do you want to swap and you have got your? <laughs> oh, yours just looks so perfect. Yeah. Look how perfect it is. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we have to wait for that mix a bit longer because that needs yes. a few minutes, don't we? So that needs to sit for twenty whole minutes. It needs to go kind of solid, not too runny. Because otherwise, you know, it'll just everywhere. Oh, that's what we've made a base for. How's that? Okay. Great. So now so you've got your bases ready, and we're going to pop these guys in the fridge, and we will see you back in 20, 20 minutes. minutes. <laughs> well, we're back. It's been 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes, and as you can see, it's good. It is now officially. <laughs> but it's going to sit more than that, I think, isn't it? It will sit. So ideally you want to actually make this the day before. So you put this in the fridge overnight and then your breakfast is ready for the next morning. This is a rockin' breakfast. This is one rockin' breakfast. You possibly need to eat a few of these. <laughs> a few of them? Yeah. I would have thought you need something a bit more, you know, healthy for breakfast. It is healthy! Well, it's still, yeah, I suppose so. Like maybe something fruit-based. Well, we're going like to put some juice. berries on top. Oh, yes. Yes, you should have a juice before. You should have juice for breakfast every day. Yes. Now, speaking of, of, of quality things for breakfast, we're actually going to try and make some ice cream. Because <laughs> 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 ice cream for breakfast is good. Yeah, ice So cream apparently, is good. we can make ice cream just by blending frozen bananas. We've read this on the internet. So it must be true. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know if it'll work. But it so happens we have a freezer full of frozen bananas. Well, because a freezer we, full of bananas that are frozen. Yes, because we, we frequently use them for smoothies. So we have some bananas that we froze that are frozen and now peeled. Yeah, and just, a, just a little hint. Yeah, I know what you're going to say. We never do it. We never do it. But just, you know, peel some people your... might be good at these kind of things. <laughs> peel your bananas before peel you Peel them before you put them in the freezer. And if you don't... They're hard to peel. They're hard to peel. So but hard... there is a trick. I figured out a trick because we do this so much. You take the bananas out and then you pour hot water over That's them. That's if you don't peel them before you yes. freeze them. So you're and giving advice. Really you're giving <laughs> advice isn't that you don't do. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so our little puddings are now set and yes. ready. Is that too much? Well, I'm making them the same. <laughs> of course. Squarey. Squarey. I'm a roundy. 
Okay, so, and now we're gonna make our cream. So we're gonna pop our. Well, that means we're gonna pop these back in the fridge now. Yes. And we're gonna try and make ice cream. We're gonna try and make ice cream. Now you've got to have a really good blender for this, so don't even try this if you've got to. You just show off your fancy blender now, aren't you? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah if you got one, you got to show yes, it off. Yeah. So on the assumption the ice cream just kind of spins around and kind of makes a mess, we are going to have. Blueberries on top of our dessert, oh. sorry, on top of our pudding. <laughs> pudding, our not, breakfast. Our breakfast, sorry, not our pudding. <laughs> and we have some lovely organic blueberries, if I can open them, but we also have a strawberry out of a garden. Oh, it's another garden. strawberry! So every two days we get one strawberry from our large vegetable patch. And it's a very special strawberry. Why is it special? Because there's only one. There's only one. <laughs> it's quite small as well. <laughs> Okay, are we going to try and make our ice cream? Okay, turn it on, see what happens. It's Let's going to make noise. Nothing. I told you it was going to happen. We, we need more banana. No, you need more liquid. What are you going to put? Coconut. Coconut. Do you want some coconut Let's milk? Let's try some, yeah. Coconut milk. You just need a splash. What is it? In the bottle. Oh, in the bottle. <laughs> so just add a splash of coconut milk. Because you just need a bit of liquid so it spins around. And Purees it all. Just a splurgeon. No, oh, that's a not a splurgeon, that's a dash. You need a splurge. There you go, that'll do. That'll do? Well, I'll give it a crack and see what happens. Let's see what happens. I hope you guys can see the see the blender over there. Can you see the blender? You can probably hear it. <laughs> that's what I thought was gonna happen. You need a big cat you need a woody. Give it a bit of a <laughs> So it gets in the way of the blades. Oh, there's a big sort of lumps of banana in there. Oops. Okay, so it took quite a lot of effort. Um, we landed up using uh, who knows how much coconut milk to actually get the blender to do its thing. So possibly it's the wrong device. So we do like to try things that we read on the internet, and sometimes they but work, and sometimes they taste don't. Really good. But it's really yummy. Just so like, like we do recommend it. trying it because you know it's a really healthy way to make ice cream like literally that's just frozen banana and coconut milk so nothing nasty no sugar in there whatsoever it's pretty it's amazingly sweet though it's yummy so now we're going to put on i think we're going to put, put you know, we've made rather a lot of banana ice cream. <laughs> that, look at that that looks just like ice cream that's amazing yeah I never thought you could just make, we've made rather a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's breakfast of champions. <laughs> I never thought you could make ice cream. In a by, blender. Well, I was gonna say, well, yes. By pureeing bananas. Look at that poor little strawberry. It's a bit pale on the inside. Oh, but shame. You might turn poor it over. little strawberry. And we're going to stick <laughs> a few blueberries in there. Oh, wow. Look how yummy does that look. Okay, your breakfast is ready for the next morning. That so is breakfast. That is breakfast. <laughs> it's really healthy. There's nothing nasty in there. Lots of nuts to keep you going. Chia seeds with omega-3. And ice cream on Fruit. top. And you got ice cream, which is made of bananas. So ice cream for perfect. breakfast. Yes. <laughs> that ice cream is absolutely amazing. I can't believe that you can just make something that tastes that nice by blending frozen bananas. Yep. It was a bit of effort, but that's just that's amazing. So good. I'm amazed. Who'd have thought? Wow, the chef is amazed. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I know it's not morning now, but can I have breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go for it. <laughs> okay. Bye then. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We'll see you next week. Okay, so we tasted our pudding because we were very excited about it. Pudding. But we feel that it really is a pudding and possibly a little bit too sweet for breakfast. But it is divine and a very healthy option for a pudding. <laughs> so enjoy and we'll see you next time.